Father Mark, Mary, and I have both actually seen a video of a donkey drop kicking a lion. Um, so that can happen. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary. And I'm Brother Isaiah. We are the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Sense Presents. Brother Isaiah is here with us, and he's going to talk to us about his favorite animal. The donkey. The donkey. <laughs> so I've had a couple experiences over the last few years that have convicted me of this, and I wanted to share it a bit today. But uh, the first came uh, some years back when I had an opportunity to do some backpacking in the desert. And this is no joke. This actually happened. I... Um, was backpacking and came over a hill and there happened to be um, a shepherd with sheep and a donkey and I guess he was out tending some flocks and uh, I saw this donkey with the shepherd I, I got the sheep thing but I didn't get the donkey and the donkey happened to have like a bag over its hoof and it was doing this like little little limp 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 along thing and I just remember sitting there and taking this in for probably about a half an hour um, just watching these guys make their way across the desert here and uh, I just was so fascinated with this donkey, this little kind of like scrub of an animal just trying to make his way along. And I just remember feeling like the Lord was saying, you know, that's you. And uh, I didn't know what that meant, but I kind of took it for what it was. And then the last few years, I had a chance to live in New Mexico and had some up close and personal contacts with donkeys and to find out a little bit more. Turns out donkeys are incredibly amazing animals. So for one, they can carry, um, this isn't totally scientifically proven on my part, but I've heard this word of mouth. They can carry incredible amounts of weight. And even better than that, apparently, they have like a natural enmity towards the feline family. So we're talking coyotes, wolves, lions, tigers, you know, you name it, feline family, um, which is why they tend to look over uh, flocks of sheep and cattle. So sometimes you'll see them in a field there because they'll actually protect the herd. Just over the last few years, like looking at this funny animal, kind of like a scrub, not even like a horse, it's usually like pretty mangy, pretty tiny. I've been fascinated by the greatness within this kind of uh, sort of scrubby version of a horse. Uh, <laughs> and, and like within this sort of humble, poor uh, shell, mangy shell, you've got like this totally incredible animal that can protect sheep from lions. And Father Mark Mary and I have both actually seen a video of a donkey drop kicking a lion. Um, so that can happen. So then I started to meditate on the donkey's place in the life of Jesus. So first we got Bethlehem, right? First show, showing up of the donkey. And you think God coming to mankind and the limousine of his choosing is a donkey, right? Not a coincidence, not a coincidence, the donkey. Uh, second time, we think of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, and literally he could have chosen anything. Could have been a Mustang, could have been a stallion, but he chose the donkey. <laughs> so that got me thinking, what's the deal with the donkey? What's the deal with the donkey? And what I've kind of come up with is um, the donkey is the unexpected bearer of God's presence the unexpected bearer of God's presence. And for me, the icon um, of the donkey, or the donkey has become an icon for me, of the struggler, right? In our life, we, um, we tend to struggle, and we don't really value the fact that we often feel like we're constantly struggling. But God does value that. And just as he sees the greatness in the donkey, he sees the greatness in the struggler. Uh, so for me, the donkey, my favorite animal, has become the icon of the struggler and um, the icon of the unexpected bearer of God's presence. Um, and then lastly, we just had a retreat recently and the retreat director dropped a line that I still haven't really figured out, but I'm going to be chewing on for a long time afterwards. He said, why did God choose the donkey? Why did Jesus choose the donkey um, to go into Jerusalem? And all he said was, because he was available. That was it. Because he was available. And I think of the struggler Right? We tend to have to let go of our, our plans and our preferences in the midst of the struggles, but we become available to God. And we become um, unexpectedly the bearer of God's good things and the things he's doing in his presence. So that's why I love the donkey. As we've been sort of working together, talking about this, uh, how would, what would you say? Mining the, the, gold, the depths, the treasury of the donkey. Mining the treasury of the donkey. Of the, of the donkey. <laughs> I've come to appreciate the donkey on a whole new level as well. Hopefully the video has done a little bit of the same for you. We're gonna go back to the theme of the struggler again with Brother Isaiah next week, so come on back. We're gonna lean in, dig a little deeper, 
And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week. Remember, somos peregrinos, pilgrims. We're pilgrims, poco a poco. Vamos, Vamos a llegar. Yeah. We're going to make it like a little donkey. Walk donkey. There you go. Slowly, poco a poco donkey. All right, we'll see you. God bless you all.